Crabs are sauteed with onions and chilies and then immersed in a mildly spiced coconut gravy and cooked till delicious. Welcome back to Cravings Food Adventures. I'm Karen Ahmed. Today we're going to be making a crab kaldin. A kaldin is a very lightly spiced gravy that comes from Goa. Typically it's made with shrimp and fish, but today we're going to be making it with crab. Before I go any further with this recipe, do make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure to ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Now let's get cooking. I'm going to start with one pound of crabs. These are blue swimming crabs and they've been cleaned and cut into halves. I'm just going to add about a quarter teaspoon of turmeric and I'm going to rub it all over the crabs. This is an antiseptic and it also adds some great color. For the kaldin masala, I'm going to add two Kashmiri chilies. I'm also going to add one teaspoon of peppercorns and one teaspoon of coriander seeds. I'm gonna follow this with one teaspoon of cumin seeds. I'm just warming up these spices to wake up the flavor. Once cool, I'm gonna get these into my food processor. Since I'm only using two chilies in this recipe, I'm not gonna bother removing the seeds. Processing this till it's nice and smooth. Now for the wet ingredients. I'm going to add four garlic cloves. This is roughly a quarter cup, a half cup of onions. I diced my onions, but you don't have to. I'm also going to add a cup of grated or shredded coconut. and one teaspoon of turmeric powder. The turmeric powder is what's going to give the gravy its golden hue. And I'm also going to add a walnut ball size of tamarind. If your tamarind is hard, you can just zap it in the microwave or you can just soak this in some hot water. Make sure that the tamarind has no seeds. Now I'm going to add in the powdered spices. Note that I did grind the dry and the wet ingredients separately, but you can also grind everything in the same jar. Just start with the dry and follow with the wet. I'm going to add half a cup of water and start to grind this. It's looking coarse still, so I'm going to add another half cup of water. This gravy is known for its smoothness. I'm going to strain it using a sieve. Using a spatula, I'm going to push all the silky liquid through. Return the solids back to the jar and add another half cup of water. I'm going to strain this again. I 
I'm going to put this back into my food processor and add another half cup of water and process it again. Strain this and you can throw away the rest of the solids or you can process it one more time. In total, I've used two cups of water, but you can go up to two and a half cups if you need to. Now to put everything together, I'm going to add one tablespoon of coconut oil and I'm just going to allow this to melt. I'm going to add in a half cup of finely diced onion and I'm going to allow the onion to saute. I have three chilies here that I slit in half and I'm going to saute these as well. I'm going to add in all of the crab and just let it roast for a little while. Now it's time to add all of that ground and strained masala into the pot. And I'm going to allow this to come to the boil. Add salt to taste. I'm going to cook this for about 15 to 20 minutes. If you have a lid, you can cover it. Here's a tip, if you have leftover gravy, you can freeze it and you can saute shrimp, fish or crab and add it to this gravy. You can even add eggs. This curry is amazing served with rice. Enjoy! Thank you so much for joining me on Craving Food Adventures. I hope you enjoyed this delicious recipe for crab kaldin. I love this. The sweetness of the crab and the mildness of the curry is a perfect combination. If you love this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed and that you've rung the bell and do share this video with your family and friends. Also be sure to follow me behind the scenes on all of my social channels. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. Until I see you next time. Do take care guys. Bye.